just playing a seven minute game uh, just before we go back in and, and analyze some higher rated games so I'm caught in a position here whereby I don't really know what to do so when I'm in one of those types of situations I have to revert to doing something small this allows me to move my knight around to give my bishop some air yeah give my queen some space potentially attacking areas so that's how I'm starting to think anyway so I might as well take this bishop off the board get my queen off of the back but don't rush that bit um, because we do have a space just here I'm just thinking this bishop's going to come and attack us where can we go from there we'll have to go back again I'll go there for now he brings his bishop here attacking the queen and we just come back down again can't take this pawn because his knight's there I know you might be thinking well that's nugatory but it's there we go so he comes there so I'll just bring the queen back down now because I've repositioned my queen yep and put him in a position where he's blocking his own knight yeah so his knight can't go there can't go there only place he can go is here so he'll get taken but it would be with the exchange okay so why am I mentioning this is uh, so I'm looking to push forward onto the knight if the pawn takes then that frees the space up anyway so we'll capture with the bishop here does capture with his knight interesting Rook's on a dark square, probably looking to be fancy. Well, attacking the rook with the bishop. I thought it was going to come here, but that wouldn't have been nice. So the rook can come across, facing the bishop off, opposite the king. But I think I'm just going to bring it back. Yeah, just bring it back. Yes, he's a very fast cookie. Uh, we can attack the bishop but obviously it's protected anyway so shall we just come here and attack the quick king area push down the pawn probably queen's coming to protect it's also attacking this pawn here I'm going to just um, get some activity going whilst this knight's blocking the other rook but it's not now <laughs> okay so we can go and attack the queen see if he wants to exchange do we take with the pawn or the rook probably take with the pawn because it's isolated at the minute but it is a sort of past pawn Ooh, so he's moved back that's uh, interesting Let's bring the knight up Bishop's a bit troublesome, but we'll see how we can try and deal with that. And if I could push the pawn here, then push onto the bishop. It's got a safe. Ah, oh, he's moved anyway. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra, so I'm going to capture the bishop. It's nice having a mantra because it saves it saves time in the thought process so let's see queen knight rook captures rook captures let's bring the rook here this queen is going to come around the back isn't it but we oh what's happening so his knight is in the way so if we move the knight out of the way we can get the rook here maybe yeah something like that it depends where the knight goes knight goes around I mean, he can come around here but we'll take that so he'll go around the back maybe yeah go there so he's blocking his king and rook he's not gone there okay so we're going to continue with our rook attack on the queen also pressuring the f7 pawn oh why 
why do people always have to have some sort of skill there we go so move that out of the way we're still pressuring this pawn oh it's not right it's not right is there something else that I could be doing if I pushed here is queen takes if our rook takes this pawn are we going to be feeling good let's take the pawn for now he's put oh his knight's getting active I think he's seen something and I think he's seen something if my pawn pushes onto his knight he has seen something no round round no let's push onto it Blocking the thing they want to. I'm not liking the look of this now. My knight comes here. His queen takes the pawn. And then my knight is pinned to my queen. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look right, does it? If I go here, I'm attacking his pawn. His queen takes, I take. Yeah, let's go here. My rook is going to be under attack. His pawn's going to push down. The rook is under attack, so not to forget that. Oh, oh, that's a damn shame. That's a that. I think the pawn coming down onto the knight would have been the winner for them. Uh, well, he might still win now. So hold on. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay. Quick look on the analysis board on that one. I think. Um, it might have been it was just a one move back on it okay so well, in fact let's have a look at the right from the beginning just to see if there's any major dips because that helps us with our development and why are these arrows on okay so we captured And that's when we, when we were doing the do nothing move we really didn't know what to do so we wanted to open up some space around our king area have something to aim for and that seemed to work okay for us and captured captured and even placing the queen here i think that's that's reduced our advantage down but again i didn't really know what i was i wanted to get my piece towards the king area to then reposition it so I knew the bishop was going to come and attack so then I could reposition my queen rather than just simply moving the um, queen up I thought it's better having the bishop in that position because it's blocking off his knight so that's my rationale behind that so then we reposition and we do look to then start targeting the knight showing that it's not a good, good thing to be doing on the evaluation bar and would I change that? Um, I don't think so. And we're now on the night, but we weren't planning to do any of that. So the rook comes through. So it's showing black is uh, in a favorable position. We bring the rook back. And we're on the f7. And the queen goes for the exchange. Maybe they should have exchanged. Knight comes up, capture the bishop, capture the rook. So it's showing black as being in better, you know, in a better state. And we push onto the knight. And it's only at this point where we're starting to do a bit of shining. Rook comes through, capture. Just want to miss this point here. Yeah, the knight moving across was not good. Yeah. Okay, but the opponent didn't take advantage of it. And that's the whole ethos behind playing the game. Yeah, but I've got to bear that in mind because I'm never going to be in this position again. You know, um, every every game is really totally different. The concept of position is about having a look and saying, well. Have I been in something similar to this before? Yeah, and you will have. Yeah, 
every chess game you'll have similar concepts for every game that you're playing because um, you're playing your own style, your own system, your your own your own method, and depending on what your opponent's doing, it's going to be similar, but it's not going to be identical in every way. So yep, so they made the mistake and they blundered their queen. So that wasn't too bad, but it was a bit iffy towards the end game.